Hello everyone, Air one for Motion VFX. In this video, we will discover the brand new plugin M16mm for Final Cut Pro. M16mm is a pack of effects that will give you the possibility to add 16mm film look to your projects. As usual, with Motion VFX plugins, it's a very easy to use FX with a professional result. Let's see how it works. Back in Final Cut Pro, you will find M16mm effects in the filters library. Inside, you will find 30 presets ready to use. To produce the various effects, select your clip in the project and skim the effect. To apply the preset, two ways. First, you can drag and drop the preset over your clip, like this. Or select your clip in the project and simply double click on the preset. Let's add a new preset on the third clip and see how we can customize the effect. To get access to all the parameters, simply open the inspector. Inside the inspector, you will have a complete access to all the parameters. Each effect has their own set of parameters. Let's have a look on some parameters. First, the color balance parameters. 16mm films offers vivid and intense colors. With the color balance tools, you will be able to color correct directly the highlights, midtones, and shadows. You can give a color look with a blue tint or a warmer look with a pink or orange tint. You can adjust the intensity and the opacity of the color balance for an absolute control of the effect. Next, with this preset, we have the overdrive effect. It applies the glow or diffuse light effect on the footage. With this preset, the opacity is set to zero. Let's increase the value to see the effect, like this. You can fully customize the effect by modifying the color, the intensity and the rotation. I will reset everything to get back at the default values. Next, we'll be able to decrease the render quality of the original footage in order to match with a 16mm look. With the bad film parameters, we will be able to create some focus, brightness and saturation animations. For each parameter, you will have an amount parameter and a variance parameter. This one will create fluctuations of the effect. For example, I will add some defocus effect on this shot. I will set the amount of focus to 11 and increase the variance parameter around 60. As you can see, it will automatically create a live defocus effect. And you can also do the same animations with the brightness and the saturation parameter. Also, with the bad film tools, you will be able to add some scratches. Scratches are vertical lines. You can modify the color if needed. You can also add some imperfections like airs and dirt. The jitter parameters will control the fluctuation of the bad film elements. Also, you can have an overall control of the various effect with the opacity parameter. Besides the bad film parameters, you will have the prism effect. Prism will create a chromatic aberration effect that will separate the three colors channel, red, blue and green. So you can adjust the amount of the effect, the rotation and the opacity. Depending on the preset selected, you could have a frame overlay available. You can control the final look of the frame with many parameters. 
can play with some parameters that we've seen before, like Prism, Overdrive. You can also control the size and the position, very useful if you want to reduce the size of your original footage or if you need a little adjustments. Next, on this preset we have a dot parameter which adds some texture to the footage. I will do a quick color correction to have a better view on the dot texture, like this. Here we can see that the dot texture is on the top right of the clip and we can decide with the dot opacity parameter if it's more or less visible. Also, there is a glow parameter that will create an overall light diffuse effect on the clip. Each preset has their own set of parameters. For example, here we can see that we have a different type of frame with this preset. Some are rectangle, but you can also have some square frame like this one. On this shot, we can see that the two kids are on the left part of the footage. If I preview the effect, we can see that the composition is not so good with this effect. You can easily correct this. I will display the horizon overlay from Final Cut Pro to get some visual reference. I will slightly move the footage to the right and get the boy in the center of the frame, like this. As it is an effect, the effect is applied only on the footage, so on the left part we can see that we have a black offset. To solve this issue, I will undo it, and before adding my effect, I will create a compound clip of the shot. Now I will apply the preset on the compound clip, and we don't have any more the problem. One more tip, with some presets you will have some nice light leaks effects integrated like this one. Depending on the content of your clip, it may hide an important element from your footage, like here with the face of the kid. Of course you have access to many parameters to customize the light leak effects. You can switch it on off, play with the opacity, the color and many more. Here I would like to keep it, but not at this place. So I can scroll down for the last parameters of the preset and use the flip texture mode. This parameter will give you the possibility to change the position of the various elements from the preset. Here the light leak effect, so I can flip it horizontally, vertically or both. Of course, when you add a 16mm look to your footage, it means adding grain. And you can get a full control of the grain with all the parameters dedicated. You can increase the amount of grain, choose the type of grain you want between TV static, white noise, Gaussian noise, blue noise and peak noise. You can choose the blending mode. You can choose also to get animated grain or just static grain. And adjust the global opacity parameter to get an accurate control on the final render. As you can see, M16mm offer a quick and easy solution to add a 16mm film look to your project by simply using one of the 30 presets or by customizing deeply a preset to get a unique result. To get more information about M16mm one address, motionvfx.com and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, ciao ciao, bye bye.